You're listening to the BBC on WMRA, and it's now time for our weekly test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. WTIC Radio is conducting a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. Positive, encouraging, K-Love. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This has been a test of the emergency alert system, designed to keep you informed in the event of a national, state, or local emergency. Positive, encouraging, k This is a test of the emergency alert system. WYPRFM serves the Baltimore area. This concludes our test of the emergency alert system.
Additionally, minor flooding is possible again with the Sunday afternoon high tide. Take the necessary actions to protect flood prone property. If travel is required, do not drive around barricades or through water of unknown depth. Swim near a lifeguard. If caught in a rip current, relax and float. Don't swim against the current. If able, swim in a direction following the shoreline. If unable to escape, face the shore and call or wave for help. The civil authorities have issued a local area emergency for mob at CO, beginning at 10.54 a.m. and ending at 11.54 a.m. Will open incident resolve this message per under Sheriff Chip McIntyre. A storm surge watch has been upgraded to a storm surge warning and a tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following counties in North Carolina, Hatteras Island, Northern Outer Banks and Okracook Island. Authorities have issued a required weekly test for Hippie MN beginning at 11.15 a.m. and ending at 11.31 a.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. No action is needed. This a is a tropical only a storm test. warning is in effect for the following county: Southampton, Virginia, and Northampton, North Carolina. Issued a required weekly test of the door and issued a required weekly test of the door and issued a required weekly test of the door and issued a for the coastal flood advisory, up to one half foot of inundation above ground level expected in low-lying areas due to tidal flooding. For the coastal flood warning, one to two feet of inundation above ground level expected in low-lying areas due to tidal flooding. The areas affected include shoreline in St. Mary's County. The hazardous weather conditions are expected for the coastal flood advisory from 5 p.m. this afternoon to 2 a.m. Saturday, especially around the time of high tide. For the coastal flood warning, from 2 a.m. Saturday to 2 a.m. Sunday, especially around the time of high tide. Impacts, at 3.5 feet, water covers roads on St. George Island, is in yards, and is approaching structures. To the east, inundation is occurring at multiple marinas off St. Mary's River, Smith Creek, and Jutland Creek. Additional details, tides 2.5 to 3 feet above normal. The next high tide at Colton's Point is at 8.43 p.m. and 9.28 a.m. The next high tide at Point Lookout is at 7.42 p.m. and 7.50 a.m. The next high tide at Piney Point is at 8.07 p.m. and 8.52 a.m. Take the necessary actions to protect flood-prone property. If travel is required, do not drive around barricades or through water of unknown depth. Waterways. Where? Tidal areas in the New Jersey counties of Cape May, Atlantic, Southeastern Burlington and Ocean. When? From noon until 8 p.m. Saturday. Impacts. At this level, widespread roadway flooding occurs in coastal and bayside communities and along inland tidal waterways. Many roads become impassable. Some damage to vulnerable structures may begin to occur. Additional details, with the long duration of onshore winds expected, the back bays may struggle to drain during low tides. This could result in minor to moderate coastal flooding lingering after high tide. Additionally, minor flooding is possible again with the Sunday afternoon high tide. Take the necessary actions to protect flood-prone property. 
If travel is required, do not drive around barricades or through water of unknown depth. Coastal flood warning from the National Weather Service for the following county, Kent, Delaware. What? One to three feet of inundation above ground level expected in low lying areas near shorelines and tidal waterways. Where? Tidal areas in the Delaware counties of Sussex and Kent. When? From noon until 8 p.m. Saturday. Impacts. At this level, flooding may become severe enough to cause structural damage along with widespread roadway flooding in coastal and bayside communities and near inland tidal waterways. Some locations may become isolated by the flood waters. Additional details, with the long duration of onshore winds expected, the back bays may struggle to drain during low tides. This could result in minor to moderate coastal flooding lingering after high tide. Additionally, minor flooding is possible again with the Sunday afternoon high tide. Take the necessary actions to protect flood-prone property. If travel is required, do not drive around barricades or through water of unknown depth. Flood warning, up to one foot of inundation above ground level expected in low-lying areas due to tidal flooding. The areas affected include shoreline in the District of Columbia. The hazardous weather conditions are expected for the Coastal Flood Advisory from midnight tonight to 6 a.m. Saturday, especially around the time of high tide. For the Coastal Flood Warning from 10 a.m. Saturday to 7 a.m. Sunday, especially around the time of high tide. Impacts. The unprotected area on the southwest waterfront at the D.C. Seafood Market is expected to flood. Water is expected to approach parts of the Haynes Point Loop Road, but it will likely be closed. Additional details, tides 1 to 1 and a half feet above normal. The next high tide at Washington Channel is at 2.01 a.m. and 2.46 p.m. Take the necessary actions to protect flood-prone property. If travel is required, do not drive around barricades or through water of unknown depth. Hello County, Iowa. Police searching for dangerous fugitive. Gregory Allen Scholter Sr. Call 911 if cited. Photo at www.wapelloready.org. The civil authorities have issued a local area emergency for Yakima WA, beginning at 11.13 p.m. Friday, September 22nd and ending at 2.13 a.m. Saturday, September 23rd. This is a community advisory for the lower Yakima Valley, Washington cities and unincorporated communities of Granger, Tonfinis, Wapato and Zilla, WA. Cascade Natural Gas crews will be working throughout the night and during public and private property to address gas main issues to assure public safety. Please secure any animals and unsecure any gates for access to gas meters.
alert has been issued for Maricopa County. This is the Arizona Department of Public Safety. Phoenix Police is looking for 73-year-old Laurel Shives. Laurel was last seen in the area of North 35th Avenue and West Stella Lane on foot at 4 p.m. on September 22, 2023. She was last seen wearing an unknown color or style shirt, blue pajama pants and not wearing shoes. She is described as a white female, 5 feet 4 inches tall and weighing approximately 95 pounds. She has white hair and brown eyes. Laurel suffers from a medical condition which may cause her to become confused and easily lost. If you have contact with the Silver Alert, please call 911. Monitor TV and radio for updates.